Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming in. Whenever you're watching this, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, if you have not yet started following my page or anywhere on social media, please make sure you follow it. I am so appreciative of you guys coming in. And um, we're going to start this because I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of requests about my hair, about what can you use for your hair, things of that sort. So I thought that it, this would be like the prime time to do a video such like this. So thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. I do not in any way take it for granted. So just know that. Uh, let me start. I have a whole bunch of stuff I got to show you. <laughs> so, so bear with me. But thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you for coming in. Today, we're going to just go down the list of, um, of uh, products and things that I feel that I use personally, things that I feel that for my hair, it's a must. And they're doing amazing, amazing deals right now on um, Amazon where I get my products. I shop there every time when I see something that I want to test out. I always go on Amazon. I always go and check it out there. Uh, so if you are not following me on Amazon, please go over and follow me on Amazon. You will not regret it. I will really... I really appreciate it if you do. And uh, what else? What else? I want to say something else. Okay. So, um, oh, okay. Sorry. So something something else I want to uh, tell you about um, hair. What works for me? I have to do this. Okay. <laughs> what works for me might not work for you, right? They always say that. So what works for me might not work for you, but... I can give you suggestions. I can give you suggestions like if you're dealing with dandruff or dealing with this or dealing with that, I can give you suggestions as to what you can try out. Then it's at your own discretion whether to try it out, whether to see if it works for you. And of course, if it does work for you, please feel free to let me know because that's how I kind of curate what works and what doesn't work. Because if it doesn't work for you, then um, I might ask, why doesn't it work for you? And we can go from there. So please let me know. And with that being said, we're going to be sharing must have items that you need for your hair. So I see a lot of people coming in. I appreciate your for coming in and I don't take it for granted. So with that being said, let's get started. If you have any questions about your hair, I can always come and I can always answer those questions and share with you um, items. So item number one, I always think about tools, hair tools, okay? When you're gonna do your hair, even if you're someone that you don't use a comb, you don't use whatever. So for me, I didn't put a white tooth comb as one of my list, just because not everybody uses combs. I, for one person, like my last wash day, I didn't use a comb. I just demonstrated one time with a comb, but I, I didn't use a comb throughout my hair. I find that my fingers, so the first must have is of course your fingers, which I'm happy, People have fingers, so you can use your fingers to detangle your hair because using your fingers, I find that it helps reduce breakage. You can feel the tangle. So if you feel that your hair is breaking, if you feel that your hair is not growing and it seems as if it's getting shorter and shorter and you see a lot of breakage, you can try finger detangling. So also when you section off your hair, um, you can use a rattle comb. So a must have a rattle comb to section off your hair to put it away. Uh, I also have this. This is what I call my silken slicking brush. So when I put my hair in a ponytail or brush or a smooth silky look, I like using this. This is by far one of my favorite ponytail um, silk brushes. It's really good. It's not so hard on my hair that it breaks my edges. So this is a must have for me. Edge brushes. Edge brushes are also a must have. I love a good edge brush that will have a brush section right here and then will have a teeth section right there. So edge brushes are also a must have for me. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. So if you have not yet tried that out, if you have not yet, um, 
try those items out you know those are must have that i find that if you have it in your how will i put it if you have it in your collection it will really help you out in helping with your hair in terms of styling so for the purpose of styling that is the number one that is the number one item i have for you okay so let me know what what do you guys use to style um so this will be my styling brushes okay so styling brushes and i believe styling tools i'll call them styling tools so hope you have your notepad and notebook written so that's item number one the next item is a good was this microfiber towel microfiber towel this is from turby twist and this item you you don't need uh to use a um a towel that used to bathe to dry your hair the thing is that when you use towels that are not microfiber they can break your hair and you can see hair strands tangled within it. I like this Toby twist. They come in different colors. They call them, they come in different designs. And when I dry my hair, this is a must have for me. If I don't have this, uh, I'll use a t-shirt. But if you're someone that your hair gets really, really dry, really, really wet, and you are low porosity, for example, I am low porosity, and me being low porosity, I find that I need a good towel that will like soak up all the moisture, all the, I won't call it moisture, all the liquid from my hair. So if I don't have a good one, then my hair stays wet for quite a long time. So I'll say you invest, invest in a good microfiber towel. I like this one because it you can put it on. So let's say I put it on like this and you can, you twist it like this. And then you connect it at the back and it really does a good job in um, soaking up all the product, all the, I keep on saying product, all the moisture from your hair. So that's the second item. The next item that is a must have is a spray bottle, a spray bottle or mist bottle. When your hair is dry, water is the number one ingredient that you need. Okay. Um, with water being the number one ingredient that you need, you need um, something that will totally uh, put the right kind of moisture. Now, this Mr. Bottle, you, you spray it in your hair. It's just water. You put water in it. I would not advise, listen up, I would not advise you putting other things in it, such as, I don't know, some concussions or whatever. I would not advise you putting any, all that stuff in it. I would advise you just using water because sometimes with this, if you're not careful, you can clog it up. That is why a lot of you find that their mist bottles always get clogged up, always get spoiled easily. So you want a mist bottle because when you moisturize your hair, if your hair is dry, the first thing that you want to use is water. And what is the best way to put the water in your hair with a mist bottle? So walk in section and using a mist bottle allows you not to over drench your hair, especially when you have a hairstyle, you don't want to over drench it. So this just puts the right amount of, look, the right amount of moisture. You see how the water is not dripping. Okay, so that's how it's going to be in your hair and then you just massage it into your hair. So you do need a good mist bottle. The next item on my list, the most have item on my list is a good clarifying shampoo. Yes, clarifying shampoo is different from other shampoos. Now, clarifying shampoo, what it does is that it goes into your hair and it really cleanses your hair. Now, why do I use this one? This is one that I buy all the time. I use it all the time. Um, and the reason why I use it is because it works. It keeps my hair dark. Like it, it just gives it that rich color, not rich color. It gives that rich cleansing. It strips out any product buildup. So if your hair seems to be quite dull looking and you're like, why is your hair dull? Maybe you have a lot of product buildup. When you have a ton of product buildup in your hair, what you want to do is that you want to cleanse it. And 
you want to use the right shampoo. Now, some people will use sulfate shampoo. The thing about sulfate shampoo is that sulfate shampoo can be quite stripping. And what I mean is that it can remove the natural oils from your hair. So you want to be very careful using sulfate shampoo. So using a sulfate-free shampoo like this one really works out well. Now, when you use a shampoo, clarifying shampoo, always follow up with a deep conditioner to keep your hair moisturized. Now, other kind of shampoo that you could also use is a moisturizing shampoo. So the moisturizing shampoo is along this side. So this is the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Moisture um, Shampoo. I like this shampoo. This is my one of my favorite, favorite shampoos that I use. Uh, you can see I use a lot of Shea Moisture products just because it works. You know, if it works, why not? You know, um, why not keep using it? So it works. Now I'm kind of, you know, sometimes I'll test out other products and see do they work and stuff. And when I test out other products, I do wait about two to three months of testing out one product but I always go back to what is known as my holy grail, the ones that I, no matter what, I know this product will not fill me. So personally for me, that is this product that I'm showing you, all the products that I'm showing you right now. So we have a question from, first of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Mia. Mia just started following. I appreciate you. If you guys are not following my page, please do follow my page. You will not regret it. I have tons and tons of information on my page. Let me tell you a little bit about my Facebook page, then we'll answer Veronica's question. So a little bit about my Facebook page. So this is um, about, I say my Facebook, my Amazon page. <laughs> Sorry about that. I keep on saying Facebook. Thank you for following my Amazon page. A little bit of something about, I mean, <laughs> about my Amazon page is this is my Amazon page. And when you get on my Amazon page, you have the follow button. These are my daughters. They're a bit older now. I have an 18 year old. Oh my goodness, guys, family. I keep on sharing good news. My 18 years old, she finally got into the college of her choice. Hallelujah. I'm so happy she got into so far. I don't know how many, but she's grateful. So I'm glad about that. And then this um, morning, I was at my desk working and she sent me an email that she got a scholarship. So I'm like, for something. So I'm like, oh my gosh. But I'm going to be sharing all that on my family channel um, on YouTube. So uh, DM Vlogs Live. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys can check us out there. Uh, but when you get to my Amazon page, you want to click on the follow button right over there. And then you'll be able to see when I'm streaming, like right now, and also other things that I've tested out along the way. To make it more easier for you, I've created idea list where you can see like products I'm using. You can see deals under $25 and so much other categories that will help you shop smarter and better. You can also view pictures on my Amazon page, okay? And this is my 14 year old. I didn't talk much about her, but she's a brilliant young girl and I'm so proud of her. And she loves doing her hair. She did her hair, I hope you like it. And um, also, you can also view videos. So when I do video review, you can see video reviews of how I use everything I show you, I use them, I test them out before I bring them to you. And of course, you can watch live streams. If you're joining us for the first time, you can watch, view past live streams. So all the live streams, don't worry, you didn't miss much. Click on the star button to show your support and love. But you can see the live stream like I did this morning, five hours ago. If you missed that, you can still catch it. And other live streams, my live streams are very educational. They're very fun. And I hope you guys can keep joining me. And I appreciate you for joining me. So with that being said, um, let us go over to Veronica's question. Veronica says, I keep a TWA. TWA is just a teeny weeny afro. So it's shorter hair. She says, what's really necessary daily for shorter hair? Let me make it simple for you. So for shorter hair, you don't always have to wash it every day. You don't have to shampoo it every day. All you need is a mist bottle with water, okay? And then you can use a moisturizer, which is what I'm going to get into and keep it going. Some people will put oils and stuff. I will also say concentrate. You don't, you don't need to do much to your edges because you're not putting any tension to your edges. But I do have an oil that you could use on your edges and I'm going to talk more about it. That is pretty much it. 
also on wash on um with TWA, sleep on a silk pillowcase, and then also wear a bonnet. I'm going to talk about everything, so keep on watching. I want to say hi to Sarah. Linda, I'm going to show you a few more things um, and answering your hair, and I'm going to answer your hair question, and I'm going to share that. But let's move on to the next item on the list, which comes in the right time. So another must-have for me is to have a silk pillowcase. I have to have a silk pillowcase. I cannot go to sleep on a cotton pillowcase. The reason why your hair feels dry when you wake up in the morning is you are sleeping on a cotton pillowcase. You want to sleep on a silk pillowcase. This is a silk pillowcase from Fiorenci, and I love their pillowcase. Their pillowcase is made from vegan silk. And one other thing that I love about their pillowcase is that the, when you buy this pillowcase, part of your money that you use to buy it goes to support children with rare disease with research. And as a child, as when I was a child, I had one of those issues and stuff. And I'm so glad for research like this. So I always come and support them. So this is the Ferenci. They come in different colors. There's a cheetah print. There's pink cheetah print. There's... um blue color, there's um, different kind of colors. So you can't go wrong with a silk pillowcase and especially one that not only you buy the product, but also one that goes back and supports community. When you buy the silk pillowcase, you also get a face mask and you get a scrunchie with it. So you cannot um, beat it. Now, another thing that people don't know is that when you use a silk pillowcase, if you have skin issues, it actually helps keep moisture in your face. If your face tends to be dry, it actually helps when you use a silk pillowcase. So if you have not yet invested in using a silk pillowcase, now is the time they've dropped the price. It's a must have. So let me answer Linda's question. Linda says, how can I get my hair straighter out when I am natural. So to get your hair straighter, some, it depends on the curling, um, the straightener you're using. You want to look for, um, I think it's a titanium straightener. So look for a good straightener. Um, use a heat protectant. That's also one of the, the things on our must, list, must have list. Use a heat protectant when you straighten your hair. And best of all, I will say if you're really scared about what to use to straighten your hair, you want to go to a professional. I cannot elaborate that so that you don't, you know, you don't get heat damage because once you get heat damage, you are, I mean, I don't know. Once you get heat damage, it's like you relaxing your hair and trying to get your hair back to normal. So just know that heat damage is a real thing. So you have to be proactive in um, learning what to use on your hair and what not to use on your hair. So the next item, yeah, this is for my kids. They said this is a must have. These are claw clips or claw, do they come like claw clips? Yeah. So these are large claw clips. For me, when I get so busy, I can put my hair in a ponytail, but sometimes when I'm just so, so busy, I can just take it and just clip my hair up. This just allows you to just have your hair out of the way and it holds it on really really well so i like the large ones because they're so durable and this brand they're they're not flimsy at all they work really well very very well and they're very very sturdy so i will say invest in a good claw clip now the next item i'm going to show you i know we're going like this now because i know some people like they don't like long lives but <laughs> Okay, so the next item that I'm going to tell you is a gel, especially for my girls that like doing braids and protective style. Um, this is a popular gel that a lot of people use and have. For me, when I do styles, it makes the style very, very crisp and it makes it look very, very neat. And this is, of course, I'm sure you all must have guessed it. This is the Shine and Jam Gel, right? So this is the shine and jam gel. This gel, no, this is not my, Medus, this is not my real hair. My hair is um, twisted in there. So this is, ugh, see, I just messed it. This is a wig. This is a wig. Yeah, I just don't want to. Yeah, this is a wig. And I talked about it during my live this morning. It's a really nice wig. 
So if you want, I can drop the link of the wig for you. It's a really nice wig and I use it and I'll show you my real hair. You can see I have it protected and I have my edges not in there. So I just want to show you, I want to be as honest. So my real hair, I'm going to show you my real hair now. Okay. So I washed my hair yesterday and I put in this towel and I kind of use wigs. I also use my um, hair. Um, I do wear my hair in its natural state, but my hair is still, you know, so this is my real hair right here. Okay. So that's my real hair. But I just use this as a protective style. And can you believe that my hair still hasn't dried from yesterday? If you caught me in my live yesterday on one of my platforms, uh, my hair still hasn't dried. Look at that. You guys, look at that. My hair still hasn't dried. That is that is the thing. When you have low porosity hair, it can take forever. But this, this is the wig. I absolutely love it. I'm going to talk more about this wig, I believe, on Friday. On Friday. It's a very nice wig and stuff, but um, a lot of people have purchased it. If you want, I, it's on my Amazon page in the wig um, idea list. But yeah, so I'm going to just, you know what? I'm going to do this live without my wig <laughs> so that I don't have to show someone else. But yeah, so um, yeah, okay, let's move along. And thank you so much, Meduse Kasigi for asking that question because I know some people might want to ask and they might not be, <laughs> they might not be, they might be shy to ask. So this is my real hair. You can see it right there. Uh, thank you so much, Henry. Henry says, I love your hair. It's so beautiful and healthy. Thank you so much. I take good care of my hair. Like I wore this wig and most of the time I don't wear my wig because of course, you know, when I'm on my fitness channel, I don't wear my wig. When I'm in my family, doing my family thing, I don't wear my wig. Okay, let's move on. Moisturizer. So um, the moisturizer I personally use is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. You can see I'm kind of, I kind of trying to keep it when I'm doing my hair. I kind of keep, lately, I'm going to be honest with you, lately I've been keeping it to the same brand. Um, does that matter? Not, not really, but I find that lately, I find that because with my hair, I have to be very, very careful. Um, I'm becoming more proactive with what I'm putting in my hair. So I'm not making so much DIY stuff. I do like a good DIY, I'll be honest with you. But I'm not making, let me put my wig over there. But I'm not making so much DIY just because I want to test out products and know this product works so that I can educate myself better. I can educate my daughters better and I can educate you guys better. You know, who am I to come on social media and say, use this, use this when I never use this, right? Um, I can give suggestions because a lot of products are formulated. The key thing is what is in the ingredients? The ingredients is what you want to look at. You can make up your own stuff, but what are you putting in there? And then do the ingredients support what is going on with your hair, what your hair needs are. So with that being said, uh, this is what I use as my moisturizer. When do I use it? I use this usually after wash day. After I wash my hair, that is like right now my hair just has leave-in conditioner, which we're going to talk about next. But I usually use a moisturizer throughout the week to keep the moisture in my hair, right? So the next item that I feel that is a must that everybody should have, it's a good leave-in conditioner. I don't know. I find, let me just tell you something. If I am, if I don't use a leave-in conditioner in my hair, I tend to find out that my hair feels dry. My hair really honestly feels dry. No matter even if I moisturize, my hair just has a, different feel it doesn't have the softness that i'm looking for so i tend never ever to skip a living conditioner so the living conditioner that i use of course you might have guessed is the shea moisture strengthen and restore living conditioner okay this is what i use i find that it's really nice it works really well for my hair i like the scent i just like the scent of it <laughs> I like the scent of it. It contains Jamaican black castor oil, um, peppermint um, oil. It also contains apple cider vinegar. So that is the living conditioner I use. Now with the deep conditioner I use, I've started using a high porosity deep conditioner 
just because this deep conditioner really, really adds in moisture, okay? Um, if you are high porosity, you know that your hair tends to dry out really, really fast. So with that being said, I have to, um, my youngest daughter has uh, high porosity hair. So what I did for my family was I changed all of us to use the high porosity um, moisture, uh, deep conditioner, because who doesn't want more moisture? Who doesn't want moisture? Who doesn't like moisture, right? So this is the product, the high porosity moisture replenish mask. This stuff really adds moisture to our hair. Hopefully, if you try it out, you can. Um, so um, let me do this. Just give me one second. I'm going to answer a question right here. Okay, you want the wig? Sure, sure. I'll give you the information. You can find the wig on my Amazon shop. Um, so please check it out on my Amazon shop. I also drop it for you. Uh, it, I love it. It's, I don't know. It works. It works for me, and I absolutely love that deep conditioner. So you can give it a try. Okay. Uh, let me do this. Right, right, right. I was telling people in my live stream this morning that I need an assistant. Who wants to be my assistant? <laughs> Maybe I should put a I should put out a resume for people. I'm employing assistants. <laughs> See, the only way I can employ someone is if I'm making big big money, and I'm not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that's the wig information for Medus Kasigi. Thank you so much. Good morning, Brenda. So nice to see you. So a couple of things that um, you might also want to invest on if you want to is a good um, blow dryer for your hair. Uh, you can get that also. Um, I did mention that you need a bonnet, right? If you don't wear bonnets, you can always use that silk, silk uh, pillowcase, right? So this is a bonnet. This actually just came for me. And I, I use their waist trainer. I've used their waist trainer for the past two years. So this is Yanni Best. I've used their waist trainer, as I said, for the past two years. So when I saw that, and it's good quality. So when I saw that they do have a bonnet, I love the color of the bonnet. I don't like, I don't have this color. I hope my youngest daughter doesn't take this because this is a pinkish color. And I know once I show, I should be like, mommy, I want it. And I'm such a sucker. I'm one of those parents that my kids say, I want this. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I know I should stop it, but they're such good girls. They do so well. So this one, one thing I like about this is it, it has an adjustable strap. So you see here, you can adjust it right there. Very adjustable. I love, love it. And see, okay. Very nice. So you can adjust, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger to the right length. And um, let me put it on my head to show you guys what it looks like. So you see, I can tighten it up. Whenever I wear my bonnet, I don't wear it along my edges. I can wear it like this or I can wear it like this, but never on my edges. Never ever wear it on your edges. So this comes with a silk um, scrunchie. So I like, I like that part of it also. Um, yeah, so you do want to invest in a silk pillowcase, uh, not pillowcase, silk bonnet. Hi, Silicon. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you so much. So yeah, so I add that to your list, a satin silk bonnet for your hair. That is something you need to add to your list. If you have not, this is a must have. Definitely, definitely must have item that you need to invest in. Okay. So next, let's go on. Okay. The next item, ooh, my table is getting full. Okay. So the next item on the list is a deep conditioning cap. So you can use a deep conditioning cap if you like to roam around while you are getting deep conditioner. Now, what is the purpose of a deep conditioning cap? The purpose of a deep conditioner cap is to infuse more moisture in your hair. So you could put a deep conditioner in your hair, but if you want that intense deep conditioning, for example, a lot of these products, they're right for deep, intense, deep conditioning, sit under a dryer. But how many of us have other things we can be doing instead of sitting for 30 minutes? So what I do is I use a um, deep conditioning cap and I, 
and I do stuff around the house. You know, I cook, I clean, I watch a TV, I do all that kind of stuff. And also one thing I love about, I miss Peterson. One thing I love about a deep conditioning cap is that I don't have to be that heat from the dryer. You know, if you are menopausal and stuff, of course, you know that heat is not your friend. Cold weather is not your friend. You get flashes all over the place. So who wants to sit under a heat? Oh, who wants to do that? So that is why I said you need to invest. I mean, trust me. Now, this one that we have is a corded deep conditioning cap. Not only do you get the corded deep conditioning cap, you also get scrunchy to up section your hair. Not scrunchy. You also get the, uh, what's that thing? Plastic cap, thermal cap. And you get, um, um, what do they call it? You also get, let me show you guys, instead of instead of stumbling stumbling on my words, right? So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. You get a heated uh, cap. Is that it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you guys help me out. So we get this cap, thermal caps, and then you get this brush. Now, everything together... You guys, check out the price. Check out the price. That is such a beautiful, beautiful price. That price, uh, this is the best deal that I've seen for heated cap. And um, I like the color. So you guys, you can invest in it. You just put it in the microwave. I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. I flip it over. I, I put it for 30 seconds. Again, I flip it over. I do 30 seconds, but you, I never do up to two minutes. And then once you do it, you just, you know, you can just use your, wash your hair, use the thermal cap, the fall cap, and it brings intense moisture into your hair. It really helps your hair. So if you have not yet tried it out, give it a try. And um, yeah, get yours, get yours today. So hopefully you guys will be able to get it. And um, yeah, give it a try, please. You will be surprised. If you have one, let me know right in the comment area you have one. Now, the next thing that I want to also show you is you need a heat protectant. If you're going to be using blow drying your hair, straightening your hair, you need a good heat protectant. You cannot, please, please, and please, can I beg you, please do not straighten your hair. Do not use heat without heat protectant, okay? So the heat protectant I use, and I've been using it for years, is um i'm right protectant is the um tresemme this is the tresemme heat tamer i've never ever had heat damage uh before i use it in my hair very blow drying or with the revere whatsoever i always use a heat protectant please i know i keep on stressing i keep on saying please 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 i don't want anybody to damage their hair so use a heat protectant um, another must have, I nearly forgot this, are claw clips or sectioning clips. So I have this ones. They come in different colors. I actually got this for my daughter. That's why I've not taken it out of the case. But these are claw clips. I use it to section your hair, okay, just to put your hair into sections. Whenever you're doing your hair, it's very handy when you have sectioning clips. Um, I've had my eye on this one. This one's at the best seller from HH and LL. Um, they're great hair clips for sectioning or alligator. They also call them alligator clips. So I purchased this for my daughter. It was supposed to be like a Christmas gift, but the girl saw it. <laughs> so of course, I'm going to have to gift it to her. This is for my youngest daughter. And I think my oldest daughter, she just uses whatever her sister has and stuff. Or they come to mommy's closet. I'm actually trying to, you know. Um, okay, so Vanny says, how much for the heat? I'm thinking heat cap. Can you find it? Yes. So the heat cap, I actually put it there for you. So that is, if you look in the comment area, the information is right there. So that's the Amazon link for it. You can find it there. So that is the this stuff. Now, the next thing that I also want to show you is my edge growth oil. So this is my edges. You guys see my edges? My edges are thin, but you do see here. 
growing from it. So this is what my edges look like. Um, I have very fine baby, baby edges. And this is the product that I use is the Omakase Grow Pro. I've been using it for a while now. You can see how much I'm past halfway using it. So you can see how much of it I've used. I absolutely like it. I like what it's doing to my edges. It keeps my edges very, very moisturized um, throughout the day. And sometimes I'll skip it the next day, but most of the time I use it regularly, like daily when I get out of the shower, I'll just quickly use it. So if you guys want to get it, you can also click on that and pick it up. So that is also one of my must have, must have items. So don't, you know, yeah, add it to your list, right? So the next and final thing is what I use to control breakage in my hair. I do a protein treatment. This is the Shea Moisture. You guys would think Shea Moisture sponsored this, but no. Anyway, so this is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. I've been using this for years now, years, years, years. If I show you, like if I bring up my Amazon page and I show you this product, you'll see I purchase it, I purchase it, you purchase it, you purchase it. I love, I love it. It works really well. You can use this before you wash your hair. You can also use it after you wash your hair. I personally like using it um, after I wash my hair. I find, I don't know, I just prefer it that way. It's quite thick. So let me show you. It's quite thick. It's not going to fall. It's not going to fall. It's not going to fall. It's very, very thick. So a little bit goes a long way and it's under $10. I absolutely love it. So that is it. I am so glad. I will try to get this live under 30 minutes to promote people to watch it because when people see longer lives, they're like, oh, I don't want to watch it. But I love telling you some must have. So when you go into 2023 and you want to create your um, routine, your hair routine, you can use some of these products. You can test them out. You can see, just take tips from what I'm sharing. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to follow me on my platforms. And I really do appreciate you. And I hope to see you again on Friday or whenever I decide to come on live. Because sometimes I just jump on, right? Thank you so much. And that's why you need to follow me. Because you don't follow me on whatever platform, on Amazon. When I'm live, you're not going to know. And I'll be dropping gems. Gem, 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 gems. <laughs> okay, so take care, guys. Have a blessed day. Take care. Bye. <laughs>